Alright, today I'm going to show you what would happen when you change your car battery and disconnect the power from your car without having an alternate power source going to your car when you are disconnecting uh, these cables. So inside your car there's a computer called ECU or electronic control unit that memorize all the driving parameters of your car and when you unplug this cable the ECU is going to be reset and um, this is going to what's going to happen when you unplug this cable alright let's start up the car see what happens you see there is idling at 1000 rpm pointing the dial pointing at number one and my engine is cold. You see there? So um, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit to warm up my engine and uh, I'll show you what I got. Usually uh, my car when it's um, when it's cold the RPM usually around 1500 RPM not 1000. So I'm about 500 RPM lower than it should be. Right, so it's been about five minutes and my engine is a little bit warmer. You can see there, its uh, temperature is rising. But now the RPM is about 500. See that? I've never seen my RPM go that low. Usually when it's idling, it's around 1000. So it's pointing at number one, usually. But now it's pointing at 500 RPM. That's half of what usually uh, it is. So, and my car is shaking really bad. To show you my engine here. This is at 500 RPM. And it's shaking real bad. That's how well you can see that in the video. Let me put a piece of dirt board on top. See how so you have checking that is. See that? It's checked really bad and it seems like it's about to stall. I got my OBD2 reader here. I'm gonna plug it in and I'll see what we got. I'm showing you again, I'm trying to scan it one more time. There we go again. Three lights. Cat, Eva, and O2 sensor. So that means um, I have to run my car for an extended period of time before the three lights will turn off by itself. There are no error codes, but it's got blinking lights. And this light is yellow. Alright, so with this problem, uh, there's nothing else I can do except that uh, I just have to keep driving my car for a while uh, so that the computer will adjust itself. And how long does it take to do that? Well, it depends on the, on the car, on the model, on the uh, condition of the car. It depends on a lot of things. And uh, I'm just gonna drive my car you know, come back and uh, I'll show you what I got. All right, so I'm back. I have been driving my car all day today, and if you notice, the trip mileage on my car this morning when I had this problem was 458, 454, I think, 454.8. Now it's 4761 4.6. So I've driven about 17 miles and I have my um, OBD2 reader here and I'm going to plug it in and I'll show you what I got. Let's see what we got on here.
Okay. All right. Automatic. Yes. Okay. Just your vehicle. Yes. Nice. So now, <laughs> now I have. This morning I got four. I mean three lights, three red lights. Now I have two. So this morning the cat's light also blink but now the cat light is good so two more lights blinking although I don't have any error code and uh, the car seems to be fine now so let me start the car just put this down here let me start the car see what we got. <laughs> you can see that the dial is at 1000 RPM and the engine is warm. I just got home by the way so the engine is still warm and you can see that the temperature is rising as we speak so the engine is warm now I got at 1000 rpm so it seems to be normal now uh, I got it stalled at the red light once but uh, that was about five miles my first five miles but after that it uh, seemed to seem to uh, be okay and it seemed to learn pretty quickly so I would say it, uh, it's good now, except that my OBD2 reader shows evap, evap light and O2 sensor blinking. So I guess it would take time, and this light is still yellow, not green. I guess it would take time for my ECU to learn again so I guess uh, that's the only way I can fix it there's nothing else I can do right now so I just have to keep driving but uh, right now as you see that it does not stall anymore uh, the RPM stays at 1000 so uh, I don't have the uh, stalling issue anymore and there is a there's a couple of ways where you can prevent this from happening. The first and the best way is to have a thing called uh, OBD2 Power Saver. It's a it's basically a OBD2 plug that you plug into that OBD2 port right there, and um, that plug. One end is the OBD2 port like this one. The other end has a, um, a cigarette lighter plug so then you can plug in your 12 volt power source uh, it doesn't matter what that is uh, you can even use a 9 volt uh, battery uh, and you plug that into that OB2 ports to provide power to the car when you disconnect your battery another way is to use a, a cigarette lighter uh, plug and then at the other end you connect this wire into a 12 volt power source like this one here this is my 12 volt power source uh, ignore the 24 volt here this is uh, only 12 volts so next video I'm gonna make this uh, cigarette lighter plug that connects to my 12 volt uh, battery pack here so that I can plug it in my cigarette lighter when I replace my battery, that way I can uh, keep uh, the uh, power uh, to my computer constantly uh, so that uh, will prevent it from uh, uh, reset itself. Right? And that will be my next video. And I guess that's all I have for now. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.